why do I feel like every time he hits a home run, if he tried harder, he'd hit it twice as far? <laughs> See, I go the other way, Lauren. W what? Tell That's me. what makes him so great is his ability to stay so calm and trust the fact that he that doesn't have to do too much. Easy and power. The ball jumps off his yeah, back. Yeah, it does. It is crazy to think that he was let go by the Dodgers, and it was a total different time, different place. They didn't even put eyeballs on him yet in the minor leagues when he got traded for Josh Fields, a middle reliever who had a nice career, and Jordan goes over and hides for the Houston Astros and then surfaces and is turned into one of the game's elite hitters. Okay, take a look at this. Weighted runs created plus. The plus is park adjusted. This is probably your best offensive metric, right? Taking everything into account. There he is, best player in the world, Mike Trout, Juan Soto, Buck 58, and then right behind him, Jordan Alvarez. I mean, these are five superstars in the game. So I want to dive into his ABs last night, okay? Because he is light tower power to all fields, but he's got the hit tool as well. So he slaps nasty ABs on you time and time again. All right, I want to take you through this. Top third, one nothing. Little change up, middle of the plate. I'm a little out in front. Pause. Little change up, I'm a little out in front. What do you think Jordan's telling himself in this situation? I was just a little out front on a change up. Let me stay back a little bit longer. Let me take that fastball up the middle the other way. And if he throws that change up again, then I can get out in front and drive it to right center. There's really nowhere he can go except breaking ball right here. So he's thinking, drive the heater up the middle the other way. And he's thinking, Mr. Winder's thinking, I just got him out in front on a changeup, so let me rush a heater by him. Not when you don't cheat, not when you're one of the best, not when you can go 430 dead center and not trying to do it. So what happens is second AB, the exact opposite, pause it. He goes waist heater away, 94 miles an hour. So what is he telling himself? I could take that heater and shoot it to left center all day for power. So I don't have to cheat to anything. Stay back and see what else he's got. 1-0, probably in a 4-0 game in the ninth inning. He doesn't want to get tagged for another homer. Probably something off speed coming right here. Run it. I mean, you stay down on, on a, on a changeup 86 miles an hour. That's not a terrible pitch. 1-0, and you're able to flip it into the other bullpen left center. Run that back for me real quick, because he does so many things right. You talk about, I always go back to, I'm a big believer in staying square to the baseball. We're going to do a skybox on Josh Bell a little bit later, and he talked about that as well. Alex Bregman's big on it. Alex Bregman almost wants to feel like when he's in the batter's box, to take you inside, he almost wants to feel like nothing turns, like his swing's happening while his shoulders and hips are still facing the first base dugout to keep him square and to put his bat in position. Juan Soto, who I'd love to dive into at some point, he gets down into his legs. This front shoulder opens, and he's delivering a blow with his backhand. So multiple ways to attack a baseball. But when I think back to all the guys that I played with, the Chipper Joneses of the world, the Mark Teixeiras of the world, the Mikey Youngs, Matt Holliday, Pujols, all these great hitters, this is what they were trying to accomplish. Why do you load? You load to get to, to the inside of your back knee right there. Everything is piped through, like put, putting a piece of rebar right down through his back knee into the ground right here. And now he can just lay that foot down like a kickstand, watch the front shoulder stay square. Boom, pause. He's still square. Mm. There's nothing pulling off any. There's, he's not getting pulled in that dugout. There's no cheat to anything. My bat's going to have lag. It's going to have catapult to it, and I can drive it anywhere I want. Run this. Unshiftable player. Even though teams say they still do it, and that was last year to this year. Toronto still shifting him. Bring up the board real quick on the shifts the other way. Capalbo. Take a look at this. You talk about being just the ability to hit the ball all over the lot. MLB average for left-handed hitters, 37% pull, 37 straight, 25 opposite. I wouldn't shift him. You, the numbers still support doing it a little bit, and I almost feel like teams bait him to get back into the tape. Huh. We're going to shift you because we don't care, run it, if you do this. 
We know you have the ability to beat us the other way, but we'll give up the single, the double. There's a couple with runners in scoring position. Maybe not Chris Sale in that spot wants to give up that bullet in the gap, but they're almost willing to give him that knock the other way. Why? As opposed to that. And that's the difference maker, Lauren. He can go deep the other way at will. So it's one of those things where you come up, it's like you almost want to give a guy a bunt sometimes so he doesn't drive the ball out of the lot. I saw Bryce Harper try to bunt last night. Thank you very much. You can have that all yeah, day isn't long. Isn't that double then different than a double down the line to left? Yeah, second and third in that situation, obviously staying inside sales ball. But that's what makes him so, so great as a player, right? He can take your knock the other way or he can drive you out the other way. To straightaway and opposite field, he's top of the food chain. Give me the next board before we get into the poppy comp. Give me the straightaway and opposite field slug leaders. Look at this. These wow. are the stars of the game. And he's right in the middle, 749 with Stanton and Schwarber and Aaron Judge. And we always have to throw a comp. I've thrown this on him since the moment I've seen him. Let's dive back in real quick and we'll end this. Listen, everyone wants to put poppy comp on him. Body structure is a little bit different. The swing's the same. When I see him, I see Carlos Delgado. Oh, yeah. And he's a little cleaner Carlos Delgado. Carlos had a lot of moving parts, but when it synced up, it was dangerous. He looks like he is quiet in the box. Career slug percentage splits. Take a look at it. He doesn't discriminate. You want to put a righty on a mound versus a lefty? Okay, pretty much the same thing. Home and away, minute made, great place to hit, but I'll take it on the road and be just as good. Fastball versus non-fastball, pretty much the same. So just one of the best offensive players in the game.